What's up, Eagle fans? Professional wrestler Chris Wild here with a rather short video on some Eagles news and notes that have happened the past week. Unfortunately, we're in this offseason period where not much is going on. I mean, we just ended the draft. Um, you kind of got a second wave of free agency that, that's going to start happening um, once mini camps and, and injuries happen. But other than that, I mean, it's kind of been uh, we're kind of starving for some football news. So the Eagles had a couple press conferences last week one with Howie Rose, one with Doug Peterson. Howie Roseman, basically what I brought out of that as a fan was he talked about how, number one, they're not done uh, on that defensive line, adding to that defensive line. Um, who knows what that means. Uh, number two, talked about Deshaun Jackson, one of my favorite players um, as an Eagles fan, coming back and how he's at that facility every day and his maturity level is like 360 from what it was when he was first here. Uh, Howie also says it's really important that Deshaun leaves a legacy here in Philadelphia. I think that is really important because as a part of this offense, he is going to want to win. Uh, and I think that he wants to win a championship here in Philly. I think that's really important to him. And I think that's great um, for the offense and for the morale of the locker room. Howie, Ro Howie Roseman had his press conference. Then you got to have Doug. And Doug, basically all I took from that, um, the Philly media got after him right away about Carson Wentz, and he basically said, look, I'm not going to commit to saying that he's going to be ready for OTAs. I'm not worried. I don't see any kind of issue with this other than the fact that Howie didn't, Howie, that Doug didn't want to be put on the spot with the media. So take that for what it's worth. Then we go on to a couple signings this week. First was uh, quarterback Cody Kessler. Uh, everybody... Okay, nobody remembers this guy. I was going to say everybody remembers him, but nobody remembers this dude. He was a third-round pick in 2016, the Carson Wentz draft, with the Cleveland Browns. Most quarterbacks that got drafted with the Browns didn't do well, whether it be coaching, whether it be talent. Um, ironically enough, Kessler, uh, I remember the Eagles knocked Robert Griffin III uh, out of the 2016 season, and Kessler came in to play quarterback after he was out for the Cleveland Browns. He was with the Jacksonville Jaguars last year. Blake Bortles uh, was Blake Bortles and was horrible, and Kessler got a little bit of playing time there. Didn't play much better. I see this as a camp arm. He's a camp arm. He's uh, what Tim Tebow was for us a couple years ago. However, if for some reason Kessler, uh, the coaching style really kicks in with, with Kessler the, and the talent around him, and he has a great preseason and a great training camp, and when I say great, I mean like has to be visibly eye test great, uh, maybe he can beat Clayton Thorson out for that third-string quarterback spot. However, the Eagles, you know, uh, spent a fifth-round pick uh, on Clayton Thorson. So I can't see them uh, dropping him for Cody Kessler, but who knows? Thorson could be horrible. Kessler could be great. Again, we're talking about a third-string spot that doesn't dress anyway. So, uh, you know, a good little depth signing for the Philadelphia Eagles. And then a big one for me, one of my, my favorite signing that they've had probably since the draft. Um, you know, I like Zach Brown and everything, but, man, bringing back – uh, Steven Wisniewski uh, as an offensive guard I think is just great. This guy has a chemistry with the rest of the guys. Um, I kind of think he's better than Isaac Sayamalu. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. But bringing him back, adding some depth to this offensive line is really important for this team. And they have stressed that they win with the lines. That's how they won in 2017, man. Having uh, incredible depth there. And look at what they've done this year. Restructuring Jason Peters. Um, Signing Sam Alley to an extension, spending a first-round pick on Andre Dillard, who fell into their lap, and now bringing back Wisniewski. I think this team, they, they saw what happened last year when guys started getting hurt. Brandon Brooks probably isn't going to be back for the per first month of the season, maybe, and they need some insurance there. You got Vitae still there. You can move to guard. So many things you can do. Jordan Maialata, who knows what they're going to do with, with him, but they've got some depth there on the offensive line. Great move for the Philadelphia Eagles. Happy to see Wisniewski back as an Eagle. And that's really all I've got for this video. Um, again, like I said, it's kind of a uh, part of the offseason that's slow. We're all starving for some news, for some football. Um, I might start adding some videos that have nothing to do with football, but some that have something to do with my personal life. As I've said, I'm a professional wrestler. I've been really busy with that. Uh, you know, my life's crazy. I'm a father of two. Um, as I've also shown in some videos, and I have some other jobs as well, and uh, just my life is crazy, so um, who knows what's going to happen, but uh, that's that's my news and notes um, for this video, see what else happens, uh, we've got some OTAs coming up, Eagles just ended their rookie mini camps. no notable news there, um, except for uh, Miles Sanders in every picture I see 
he looks like the guy that never wants his picture taken ever and hates it. And I think that's hilarious. Uh, but look, I'm rambling now. So I'm let you guys go. Go birds. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Hit the like button. Tell a friend. There's going to be more coming. I promise. See you.